currently organise a committee. Uh, I was actually the media and PR head uh, for what uh, for what is essentially a small TED conference. Um, TED is a kind of a. a a large series of, of conferences uh, that happen yearly which is based around technology, innovation, design, that kind of thing. Uh, and basically we ran a kind of a mini version of that. Uh, it's called a TEDx conference. Uh, the X meaning it's imp independently organised. Uh, so what we did was we set out to bring TEDx not just to any of the major cities but we tried to bring it to what we felt was a very appropriate location which was m the new media city in Salford. So, so we set up TEDx Salford. Um, this happened with uh, our co-curator, which is essentially our word for manager. Uh, she uh, got the TEDx license from TED. Uh, she recruited a whole bunch of people from Salford University and a couple from Man Met to do the more technical stuff that we needed that we couldn't do in-house. Um, and we set about organising uh, one of the biggest conferences uh, that we could possibly imagine. We are we are up against some of the best uh, speaker organisers that you can find. I mean, we, uh, for example, the guy who runs TEDx Manchester is an incredibly professional guy. He makes his living off of uh, uh, off of organising sp uh, speakers and conferences. So you know, for us, this was quite an undertaking to even try and compare ourselves to you know this kind of caliber of person and this kind of caliber of talk we knew this wouldn't be a, a half-assed affair we, we knew this had to be good we knew this was important now Matt we had a great lineup of speakers and obviously you introduced them yeah. and got us all excited about them with good reason yeah who were your favorites just choose two or three that you would highlight um, well uh, actually, my first my first choice would not be a speaker. Uh, my first choice would actually be our performer, which was uh, Classical Revolution. Uh, it's um, uh, they do classical music on kind of a smaller scale. It's a, a string a, a string kind of orchestra of about there's about ten people or so. And I I really loved what they did. I, I loved the classical music in such a small room. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, I really, I really love that experience of being able to hear that kind of music in such a small environment. Um, my second speaker, now this is a difficult one because I did love a lot of the speakers there. It, it would actually have to be Dawn Gibbons, mm -hmm. who um, was the most outspoken, uh, the best way I can describe her as a hippie. Um, <laughs> she, she re but she really did give a fantastic talk, yes. uh, a very inspiring talk as well. Um, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that she was the best speaker, but I think her content as well and the kind of the difference of enthusiasm that she gave was was the most interesting part. And, and it, she it, spoke about putting soul into business, which yes. is something very close to our hearts at Mojo Life, because yeah. that's kind of our mission as well. So we, we, we met with Dawn afterwards and we're delighted to meet with her and discuss some ideas. And yeah. hopefully we're going to collaborate in some way. So yeah, Dawn not lacking energy. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's Amazing that's what we're doing. Not lacking energy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So who else? Um, Give us one more. The other speaker, um, I would, I, I'd have to say Ron Garan. Um, Ron Garan was the was our astronaut that we had, um, and what you what he did was. I thought very, very inspirational, um, adding to the fact that, and no one knew this at the time, so it's a bit of an exclusive, this, he was actually quite ill on the day, yes. um, he had just been visiting a whole bunch of school children, so he was a very ill man, <laughs> um, you should have seen him from the side of the stage, but uh, he, no, I thought he gave a very inspirational talk, I thought he was, he was fantastic and very clear spoken mm. as well, uh, and it was a big deal for him to come over as well, so it's very it, funny it at the beginning of his talk, where and the, the difference between an American sense of humour and a British, where he said, um, oh yes, I've just come back from space to give this talk today. <laughs> and we all laughed. And then he turned around to see whether there was something on the screen that was funny. Yeah, he did. And then he turned back and said, well, I guess that was quite funny, wasn't it? Yeah, he, yeah, he, didn't, he didn't quite get the fact that that would be a humorous statement to make. <laughs> no, I, 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 I enjoyed that. I said, uh, and a final word about Michelle, who couldn't be with us tonight, but she was, uh, played a pivotal role in all of this. She did. Michelle was was the crux of everything. You know, we all put our we all put our fair share into this. We all tried hard, but Michelle really did absolutely everything. There could have been no event without Michelle. True, someone else could have pulled it off. Perhaps someone could have pulled it off better, but I really couldn't imagine how. She was absolutely amazing right from the start being motivational getting us going giving us roles to do uh, things to do targets to achieve and, and and we did 
you know, the, the best thing I can say about Michelle is the evidence of the day, yeah. is the fact that we got 15 amazing speakers, that we pulled it all off within budget, and a tiny bit left to spare, I've got to say, for dinner. <laughs> um, so is there a final fantastic. message, um, maybe some lessons that the, the students at Salford University could take from the exercise that you've been through? was inspirational to see so many students doing so much and, and doing it so well. And in terms of lessons that we can learn in terms of speaking, I thought we all gained such a huge amount from the day. We all sat there and we all listened to these speakers and we all learned how they talk. And we all listened to them and, and took so many lessons away from them, not only morally or morally or you know physically as it comes to the scientists or or however it was also their mannerisms the way they spoke which we all took something away from and we were all impressed by whether we were running the event or not they were the impressive people and we learned from them a lot well matt it's a wonderful event and congratulations to, to you and michelle and the team for doing thank you off. thank you very much so uh, matt hoffbrand thank you very much thank you